Hello everybody, welcome back and also welcome back to this American dial combination lock um, I featured in, in a previous video from Zipper Heads Pass along box in the last video I picked it open using this uh, wafer lock here and yeah I was hoping to decode it and I looked up all the videos I could find and a lot of them you find for master locks and so on, which should be similar, but some of the methods didn't work for me. Um, like uh, you're supposed to pull on the shackle and then find a number and so on. You can go and look these up yourself, um, but I was not successful in, in getting an open to this one. Mm. And yeah, but I didn't want to give up. Um, so I picked it open and I... Yeah, I cheated a bit, um, and yeah, if you intend to also pick this one, or yeah, if you want to get the box and try yourself to decode it, maybe it's a good point now to to turn off the video. Otherwise, um, please stay around, and I will show you how to find a combination to a lock, lock like this. Um, so let's. Maybe have a look how combination locks work first to get some terminology, basically. So I have here my, my Sparrow's Challenge Vault. And basically what's happening inside here is roughly the same. Yeah, You have wheels, which you turn with a dial. In, in the Sparrow's lock, yeah, it's a massive dial. And here it's a small dial. dial. Um, and you try to align these wheels in a way that they line, line up, like here, I have all three gates aligned, and then you have a, a thing called the lever, or this part is called the fence, and this fence can then drop into that, and you can turn the the drive cam, oh, sorry, wrong direction. Let's align it first again, and then you can you can turn the drive cam, and yeah, your lock would open. I removed the screw here so I can show better. Um, and basically, this is what you want to do in here as well. The mechanics are a bit different. Um, the wheels are aligned like um, you have a direct drive in, in the front. This is your, your third gate and you have two wheels after which are um, picked up in a similar way like here. Yeah. So um, if I start turning only the drive turns. This was would be in, in, in this lock the third wheel right directly. Like on, on the third wheel is not a, a, a catch up for, for the lever but there's actually a gate on these and then at some point it will pick up the the second wheel or yeah in, in this case it will pick up the first wheel and here it will pick up the second wheel right because second wheel is uh, in direct drive the first wheel and then you keep turning 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 and at some point you will pick up the next wheel and yeah, if you know the right combination, you can line up the gates and open the lock. And for this one, I didn't know the combination, right? So what to do? Um, well, as I mentioned, I tried these methods and none of them worked. So I picked it open once again. Let's do that right now. Hope it works quickly now. I'd love to have this jiggle thing John has. <laughs> he opened it super fast.
Okay, got it. Okay, now we can open it. Um, actually, no, when you open it, the dial is locked. So it's best to push it in again. And then, um, yeah, what you then, what I then did was I used um, a tool like this, an otoscope. And what you can do is you can look through here. And yeah, it's, I think it's impossible to show on camera. But basically what you can do is um, that you can see the world, uh, wheels turning. Um, maybe you can also probe it with a pick. I didn't try that. But um, it might be possible actually. Maybe it's easier, but yeah, let's stick around with my method because then I can explain you what I did. Um, so follow me on my poor man's PowerPoint here. <laughs> so I drew some horrible pictures, but yeah, I hope you get it. So what I did was first look through the shackle hole with, with the uh, otoscope. And you notice that um, you only see a small fraction of what's inside. And this is around um, number five. Yeah. So if you look on, on the dial, um, you put zero up here on, on the zero marking. And where you look actually into the lock is around number five. And there you see the gates or the, the wheels turning and you see gates appearing. So for the first number, what you do is um, you turn all wheels right, like like this. Yeah, You do this a couple times until all these gates pick up. And then at some point you will see a, a, a gate appearing. So um, let's mark this quickly. So here is an offset of five. Yeah. And what you do is, um, and what I noticed then was that at around 33, I will remove the dots later, but just for, for this video. So at 33 was a gate on on the outermost wheel and this will be wheel one the first number you set in the combination right and then um you actually have to change the direction you're turning so right now we were turning right now you go left and you actually have to now you're just rotating the drive and only at here you will pick up actually the the wheel and now I kept turning until I saw um, another gate appearing. Oop, follow my poor man's drawing here, or PowerPoint, yeah. And at around 16 left, like here, um, I also saw a gate appearing on, on the next wheel, basically. So I draw that here in, in blue. And in red is, is the first wheel. Mm. So, but then I noticed I will never be able to see the the first wheel or the third number in your combination, well, the one you, you directly drive. Um, so the question was how to find the last number. And basically, yeah, I brute forced it, but um, well, the idea would be that you you set your combination, the, the first two numbers, right? So look it up first. So you set your first combination, your first numbers, and let's just set them to the point where you found them. The fence will not be there, but just for sake of this video. So you set it to 33, then you pick up the wheel and go to 16. Now both gates are aligned here. And now the third number you also, you enter again by changing the direction. So going right, and then I just ran around and pulled on the shackle and tried to find an open. Yeah, so in theory, and it should open 
at some point if you go around the dial. But the problem is you don't know where, where this gate is checked. Yeah? Basically, if you come back here, you don't know at what point the fence enters. Is it entering here or here or maybe here? And this I didn't know. So what I did was like I checked with like I just shown you for the first combination and then I went one further. So again I reset the whole thing and then instead of going to um, to 33 again on here um, or well um, as you see 33 is actually as a number as a real number 28 right so what I did then was just move my gates further a bit so I went to 34 here which is 29 here and then pass it once and instead of going for 11 which was here before I go to 12 and then I again change the direction and go around the, the dial and try to open it and this is what I did just brute forcing it and finally at 36 right and 19 and then changing direction going directly to the number 37 lock opens so the final combination of this lock is 36 19 37 so if you ever lose a combination to one of these locks i hope this method can help you to get an open um, and if you don't have an, like an autoscope like this you can maybe you know, feel the gates by using either a pick or where is it actually on oh, there maybe you can do it like this so let's reset the dials first so you have to go through here Let's see. So, yeah, I can feel something. Yeah. And did you see how, how my pick dropped? I think I'm now in the gate. And yeah, this is around the. I, I think you have a different angle than watching with, with the scope I used. But this also would give you an, a gate around 33, right? Maybe it's 32 and yeah. So if you would use this method, then your offset to the fence might be larger or so. But anyhow, uh, just as a takeaway, if you use uh, the optical method, I think the offset from watching the gates is um, eight numbers. So we started with. 28 and it opened at 36 like on, on the real numbers so the first number was here and originally the gate was I saw here right and so I had to shift it by 8 Five and three, yeah. So instead of being here, it's here now. So the fence in this lock must sit around here, basically. 
and when you pull on the shackle you, you activate this fence by yeah by lifting this one here okay i hope my explanations make sense and will help somebody who lost this combination that's all for now thanks for watching again bye